Hello, all you Happy Crumpin' War Gamers. Welcome back to another super exciting episode of Happy Crumpin' War Gaming. Today, I'm going to go through my journey of learning AOS, the Age of Sigmar, in three days. This is actually a total blast, and this is a little deviation of my normal videos. Don't worry, I'm not stopping 40k content. I just had a little experiment, and it was a blast, actually. Um, so it started off pretty fun, and uh, actually, gotta be honest with you guys, I've, I've never played AOS because I thought the rule mechanics of the game were stupid. <laughs> and uh, I don't completely disagree with that statement now, but I will tell you, AOS was a total blast. And this is just um, kind of an overall view of how quickly you can learn a complicated game if you put your mind to it. And I'm going to teach you how I did it. So if any of you are out there looking to learn AOS or 40K or any other complicated miniature strategy game, you can do it. And it's really not that challenging, although it does take a little bit of a time investment um, if you're trying to do it quickly. Uh, not everyone will always have enough time to do it in three days, but uh, I believe in you and if you want to learn you can so let's get right into the video But make sure that you stay until the end because I'm gonna be talking about the future of this channel uh, a lot of the new videos that I'm gonna be having coming out and um, it's gonna be very marvelous and exciting room as always if you like this content Please give me a like and subscription and I will keep this coming to you hot off the fire. All right, so First question is why? Why, Jonathan? Why did you take the time and why did you learn AOS in three days when you were a competitive 40k Warhammer player? Well, here's the deal. I'm getting tired waiting for 10th. I don't really want to play 9th edition right now. I just don't. 10th edition is coming and I'm terrified and excited for it all at the same time, but I don't really want to wait anymore. And I really do love Wargaming. So I was like, screw it. Let's go play something else for a little bit because that'll be fun. Also, the club I play out, shout out to Club 2D6, is uh, it's one of the largest actually gaming clubs that we have as far as I know in the world. It's one of the bigger ones. Um, we've got like 220, 250 active members, and uh, it's pretty awesome. I should do a tour of the club sometime just to kind of show everyone um, what a good gaming club should be because <laughs> our place, it, we're blessed. Our, our club is pretty awesome. Uh, and one of the leaders of the club, he's a very high-level AOS competitor, and he just asked me why I'm not playing AOS. I was like, you know what? Screw it. Maybe I should give it a whirl. And so I did. First off, here's the deal, everyone. AOS models are sick. They're so much better than 40K models, it's not even close. Some of the AOS models out there, if you're like a hobbyist, are just bananas cool. Absolutely. Um, I've got some friends who play OS, and I've, they've been wanting me to play OS. So I was like, cool, I'll try that. Fantasy stuff is dope. I actually like fantasy more than science fiction. I just happen to love the Warhammer 40K universe, which is why I'm very dedicated to 40K. But I love fantasy. I all love, also love most nerdy stuff. I just, it's just how I am. I like deadlifting and I like nerdy stuff. It's just, it's just my life, you know. Um, there was an AOS tournament that just happened to be up in like two or three days from when I was, uh, when I was hanging out with these people, and I was like, hey, if I learned AOS, I could go play in a tournament and that could be fun. I had nothing better to do that weekend, so I was like, cool, I'll go play in the tournament. And I just like competition, and uh, since I had nothing better to do, and there was a tournament, and it was something I was still interested in, I was like, screw it, let's learn, let's go play the game. So how did we do it? How did, how did I do first off in the tournament? Well, first off, I actually placed quite well. And uh, I'm going to do a, a video review next. So on my next video, it would be actually be the tournament review. And I'll, I'll talk about my placings and some things like that. But I, I ran an Iron Jaws pressure list. And for those of you who don't know what Iron Jaws is, it's shocking. I know everyone's going to be stunned to hear this, but it's the orcs of Age of Sigmar. Because I like me some orcs. It's just how it is. Um, I ran a Mega Boss and Maw Crusher with uh, the Fast Sun uh, Mount Trait. Mega Bossy and the Destroyer. Basically, for those of you who don't know AOS, what this means is my big warlord was this big dude on a dragon, and he could move 36 inches turn one and smash people in the face. If that sounded shocking to you 40k players, that's because it's shocking. AOS, I feel like the game design is about, when, when GW was designing AOS, what they wanted to do is they wanted to make sure that nothing was overpowered. So the way they approached making sure nothing was overpowered is they made everything overpowered. And <laughs> they just decided, if everything in this game is completely overpowered and ridiculous, then nothing's overpowered and ridiculous. And that, that's kind of how the game seems a little bit. But anyway, I digress. So yeah, we have that big dude. We had two war chances. Um, these guys just add damage to their to your other units. And then I ran three units of Gore Grunts, which are your pig riders. And uh, they're awesome, and they're fast, and they smash. And then one unit of basic troops, uh, that's a small unit, and then one bigger unit of basic troops. So that was the list. It was very simple. It was um, that the concept of the list is very simple, but I, as, as I learned, I think the execution of the list is a little more complicated, but it, it was really fun to play. So how did I learn this game super quickly? Well, on Wednesday, I asked a buddy if I could borrow his army for the tournament. And shout out to Geyer, you're the man. 
appreciate you. Your army is beautiful. I'll maybe I'll I'll put it up on here. I'll, I'll definitely show it off uh, because you made a beautiful army, and uh, so I got an army to play with, and it was an army that I was interested in because it played like how I like to play 40k, which is I'm gonna smash you in the face. I'm gonna go fast. So on Wednesday, I I read the rule book twice, and I know that sounds crazy, but I'm a fast reader and I'm really familiar with strategy and tactics. So um, I just read through it twice. It took me maybe an hour or so, not that really big a deal. Then I read the Iron Jaws Battle Tome, which is like a codex for AOS. I read that twice, and that maybe took me I don't know 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes since I was reading it pretty in depth. If I was just glancing over it, it would have gone a lot faster than that. Then I went through the data sheets and I compared them with all the army rules. And that was part of me uh, reading the battle tome. I just kind of analyzed how the army worked. So I tried to get a good frame in my mind for how it worked. And then what I did is I watched three battle reports of AOS. Uh, I watched it on Battleshock Wargaming. Shout out to those guys. I actually think they do a really good job of explaining why they do what they do while they're playing. Um, so the I have no affiliation with them. I've never met them or anything. I just think they do a good channel. And they, they definitely play for fun, but they also kind of talk about why they're playing. Uh, and I think it helps me learn the basic mechanics of the game. And as far as I can tell, they don't get mechanics of the game very wrong. Of course, there's more I need to learn before I could really declare that. But it seemed like they were they did a very good job. So great job, Battleshock Wargaming. I subscribe. <laughs> uh, so then Thursday comes along. So in the morning, what I did is I read, I read the Iron Jaws rules again. And then I had a battle report on while I was working out. And just so I could kind of hear, get some, familiar with some of the phrases, I wanted to learn how some of the models operate. And, and this was a smart idea because one of the things I learned just by watching your battle reports is that Age of Sigmar is a very killy game. It's more killy than Warhammer 40,000. Um, I know people are shocked to hear that. They're like, oh, no, 40,000. If I can see you, you die. Well, this is more killy than 40,000. <laughs> uh, but then that evening, I played my very first game with a buddy uh, who was also learning the game. Uh, so... He was pretty new to the game. He wasn't quite as new as I was, but we were working through it. And we had a more experienced player there who was kind of helping us with some, some rule clarifications. And that was Iron Jaws versus the Osiriac Bone Reapers, uh, which is just like a skeleton. Essentially, it's the Tomb Kings of um, AOS. And it was a fun match. I actually won that, which was, which was fun. Um, and then we got home, or I got home, and I read the core rules again. So I spent maybe another 30 minutes just rereading the rules. Friday came along. All right. I had a game against a more experienced player this time. So I was running Iron Jaws versus a Nagash list with a bunch of wolves. So basically the way the, that list worked is you had Nagash sitting there, and he was just killing everything, and he was resummoning more units just constantly, and I got cropped. He obliterated me as well he should have. Uh, then I had to go home, and I had to read my Iron Jaws rules again because I had to see what could I have done a little bit differently. And I figured out some really cool concepts in my head. And I think it was very intelligent. Very, very, uh, I think I learned a lot from that game, so I appreciate Mark for smashing me. All right, so Saturday was the very first day of the tournament. So as of right now, on I, I got the idea to play on Wednesday. I picked up my army Thursday morning. I played my first game on Thursday, played my second game on Friday. I've read the rules maybe three times now, and I've read the battle tomb maybe three times now. Saturday's the first day of the tournament. So the TO, uh, shout out to you. You were awesome. You ran a great tournament. Uh, this was at 2D6 in, here in Oslo, Norway. He announced that I was brand new, and all the tournament players were just super, super helpful. And it is worth noting that this was not the most competitive tournament. Uh, there are some extremely high level and competitive players at 2D6, but they were away for the AOS Worlds tournament this weekend. So turns out most of these super, super high level players were gone. There were still some very good players there, um, but I think we had like our, our top tier players were probably, were probably out of town. Uh, so the TO had announced that I was super brand new and every opponent there was super friendly and they were helping to teach me the game, which I seriously appreciate. And this is something that I do in 40K as well, right? So when we have newer players or younger players, people who aren't quite conf uh, quite certain of how the game works, if you talk to me or you talk to a lot of the more experienced guys in 40K, we kind of coach you through the games. Um, and, and we'll help you make mistakes, or I mean, we'll help you not make mistakes. If you're doing something that's absolutely stupid, we'll be like, hey, listen, this is not a good idea because of this. Maybe you should try this instead. And they did the exact same thing for me in the AOS tournament, which I was very, very appreciative of. Um, we, I know there's one situation when I was playing the Flesh Eater Quartz, and the guy's like, hey, remember, I have things in reserve, and in AOS, they can come in turn one. They don't have, I don't have to wait till turn two, which is very different between AOS and 40K when your reserve units can come in. So I was really appreciative of them telling me that because it helps me save myself from a huge error. Um, and that was, so that was very cool. They weren't playing the game for me, but if I was moving my units and I happened to move them wrong and I told them what I was trying to do, they would help me accomplish the goal that I was trying to accomplish legally. So that was really cool of them. All right. Uh, so I played three matches and I did, the, the games went well, but like I said, I'll do another video going through the whole tournament review. 
And then we go on to Sunday, and we had two more rounds of play. Now, one of the cool things that was happening is that in between my rounds, after our pairings had been announced, a bunch of the more experienced guys would like walked up, would walk up to me, and they would be like, hey, listen, I see who you're playing. This is how the list works. So let's make a game plan for you. So that, because I, I had no idea what really any army in the game did, except for mine and the two armies I had practiced against, and even that was very loose knowledge. So they were really, really useful and integral into me being able to formulate a game plan uh, against my other opponents, which was super cool. And once again, all of my opponents were very, very nice, and they were all taking the time to teach me their armies. So that was really great. And the tournament ended, and it was just an absolutely fantastic experience. Uh, so shout out to uh, Mark over at 2D6. Uh, you did an awesome job being TO, so appreciate you, sir. Um, I will, however, be talking shit about you, Mark, when I go through my actual tournament review and I talk about our game. But it's okay, because I love you. All right. <laughs> so what now? All right, guys. Here's What are my initial impressions about um, the game of Age of Sigmar AOS? Well, it was a total blast. And I actually think it's probably a more fun game than Warhammer 40,000. So if I'm just having a few beers, playing with my friends, AOS, I got to be honest with you guys, it's simpler. Not crazy simpler, but it is simpler. It's more streamlined. And uh, it's more fun than 40,000. Uh, at least I think that's true. Um, I obviously should play a little bit more to find out if that's true, but I'm highly confident that Age of Sigmar is probably a more fun game than 40k. However, <laughs> if I were going to play AOS competitively, I think I would probably rip my hair out. Uh, and as you guys can tell, I don't have that much hair to rip out because I'm premature balding, which is bullshit. Anyway, <laughs> I would probably rip my hair out because the game is inherently unfair. It's not a fair game, and that's okay. Um... Because like I said, the, the the theory when they were crafting this game, it seems like GW was saying, if we make everything overpowered, then nothing's overpowered. And I'm sure some of the highly competitive players in AO AOS and some of the really good guys would disagree with me. And that's totally fair. They have a lot more experience in it than I do. Um, but the mechanics of the game make uh, fair balance competitively play just exceptionally difficult. And I think there's two complaints that I really have of Age of Sigmar. And that is one, the double turn. And, that, and then two is the way that damage spills over in the game. So if you're unfamiliar with AOS, if I, if I deal two damage to you and you only have one wound, then I'll kill two models. Versus 40k, if I deal two damage to you and you only have one wound, I killed that one wound model. So because damage spills over in AOS. And, and that can cause some issues. But the double turn is where things get real tricky. Because what happens is after the battle round, both players roll off and the winner of the roll off takes the next turn. So it makes it very possible for you to go first, and then your, next, your your opponent gets two turns in a row before you get your second turn. And then if you get really unlucky, your opponent will get to go next again, <laughs> which can be a, a, a total nightmare. Um, so it's, it's competitive play seems to be extremely difficult, although I'm sure there are ways around it. The models in Age of Sigmar are freaking dope. Have you seen some of these models? I should just do a display of some of the models because AOS kicks... 40k's butt when it comes to beautiful models. Um, so I will actually be building an AOS army of my own, and it's possible in the future I may dip into competitive play. I'm actually probably going to be playing a lot of AOS in the next week or two, uh, and then once indexes are released for 10th, then I got to hunker down and get ready for the WTC. So maybe there'll be a little bit of AOS, but I am still a 40k guy at heart. So what's coming up in the future for Happy Crump and Wargaming? Uh, first off, thank you all for everyone who watches this. This has been really fun for me to build this channel. And I think uh, I'm, I'm getting messages from people and stuff saying that my videos are helping them learn the game better. And that's really freaking cool. Like I had a guy who messaged me from Romania. And this, and he said, hey, dude, I actually placed third in my tournament because of some of the things that we were, you were talking about in your videos. That was so sick. I was so happy to hear that. If you guys have good stories, if you guys have good criticisms or good support, man, please tell me because I love hearing those things. Um, and remember, the easiest way that you can show appreciation is just hitting that like or subscribe button, leaving a comment down below that helps people find me more often. So in the future, comparisons of AOS to 40K video. There are certain mechanisms in AOS, hence the battle tactics, that are so much better than the mecha than the corresponding mechanisms in 40K, like the secondary system. It's not even funny. And 40K could adapt by adopting some of the aspects of AOS and vice versa, actually. AOS has some things that are just inherently flawed that it needs to adapt from 40K um, that would make a really ideal game um, because there are really great things in both systems and that they can really learn from each other. And just analyzing 10th edition right now, it kind of looks like GW is trying just that. They're pulling some of the really good stuff from AOS, and they're trying to integrate it into 40K whilst keeping it a separate game. Uh, I'll be having an AOS tournament review. That actually might not be out tonight. I might just keep going today and do another video right afterwards and do the AOS tournament review. So that's coming up pretty soon. Now, 
here's the big ones. This is what I'm excited about. This is what a lot of you guys are excited about. The 40K index drop. The index are, indexes are going to be dropped for all of the codexes. When we do that, you best believe some deep dives are going to be coming out. We're going to be going through all of the factions in Warhammer 40K in depth, trying to figure out exactly how the heck these things, these armies work, how they play. And we'll probably be starting with the armies that, you know, I play, which would be the Custodes and the Orcs. And we'll be branching up from there. But I cannot wait till these index drops, guys. There's going to be so much awesome in-depth information. I haven't really... I, I haven't really been going through the faction focuses, and the reason for that is because the faction focuses don't really tell us much about the game. Um, and I, I think it's just too incomplete information for us to be working off of, which is why I haven't done the faction focuses. But the index drop is going to be very, very different. Then we're going to be doing a step-by-step in-depth tutorial for Learning 40K. So if you're interested in that, if you're interested in corrupting all of your opponents, please give me a subscribe, hit the like button, and we will catch you in the next video. As always, thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate you guys, and I am going to get going now so that I can prepare for our next video where we, uh, I don't know, learn a bunch of cool stuff. Happy Wargaming, everybody. Cheers. Bye.